Hello, welcome to my channel, So it's the Gift of Power One. If you find that this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button. Please comment down below, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my uploads. Also, check out my other readings if this one resonates with you. The, my other readings may resonate with you as well. I already say you over the cards and shuffled over the decks. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining, liking, and commenting, subscribing. And if you are a return subscriber, gang, gang, we're going to hop right into it. I just want to say happy Thanksgiving, and I'm so thankful for all and each and every one of you. Thank you so much for riding with me for the times of the struggles, for the times of all the things that had happened, and for the good times. Thank you so much for staying down and dedicated with your girl. I really appreciate you guys so much, and I love you all. And I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is safe, and I hope everyone is thankful for every, everything that you have, because I am thankful for everything I have and god bless you all we're gonna get into it power one what are people saying behind what what compliments are people giving you behind your back power one what compliments are giving people people giving behind your back so off bat i always take the two cards off i have on top of my deck these two right here um you know my self-made deck for some of you guys people are saying behind your back compliments are giving you a saying that your looks can pave you away like people are saying that your looks or your 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 looks just whether it's your physical looks whether your your beauty you know whether you're masculine or feminine doesn't matter people are basically saying that your looks is a privilege like you can get people to buy you dreams people can buy you food people feel like you can get promoted in certain positions because of how you look people just feel like you got the upper hand because of your looks so people are giving you compliments behind your back saying that your looks can get you really far you know even though it's kind of like superficial cliche type you know but still you know people are saying that you have pretty privileges they are saying that you have a lot of advantages you look really good whether you're masculine or feminine they're saying that you can do a lot of things when it comes to your looks you know it's not hard for you to get somebody it's not hard for people that you, for, people find you to be very attractive alone people can also say be compliment you behind your back saying that you're somebody that gets a lot of attention you somebody that looks really attractive a lot of people are attracted to your aura, attracted to your style. You stand out. You know, you somebody that a lot of people will view as an it girl or it guy, regardless whether you feel like it or not. Um, people feel it's not a hard time. Uh, you don't have a problem with keeping somebody or getting somebody. You don't have a problem with replacing somebody that comes in here and thank you, Ness, Ness, thank you, Ness, Ness, thank you. I'm so fucking grateful for my ex by Ariana Grande. So that's what people are saying behind your back. They're complimenting you on saying that you're somebody that's very attractive. You know, you don't show tell. You're very mysterious. Um, you know, a lot of people could want to date you. A lot of people could want to, be, you know, you're very sought after. You know, people are also talking about your skincare. They're saying that you have really beautiful skin. You look really youthful. People are saying that you have really clear skin. People are very attracted to your skin. People who want to know your skincare routine. People feel like you are naturally beautiful without makeup on. People are like so taken back with how beautiful you are. Some of you guys, you could wear makeup a lot or you like to wear makeup and you took makeup off and you look so beautiful people are like whoa like hold the fuck up it's almost like it just get better and better each time um for some of you guys people feel like you look beautiful without makeup you you don't have to wear makeup to look beautiful you are very attractive and you have really beautiful skin people love your skin people love how glowy and how radiant it is boo stop okay we got distant horizon Oh, so for some of you guys, we got occupations. So people are complimenting behind your back saying that you could be moving to a new job. You could be moving to an upper position of management. Bless you, boo. Boo. All right, guys. So people are complimenting you behind your back saying that you could be getting a promotion for some of you guys. Or they're talking about complimenting you back how you're being chosen for a promotion for some of you guys who got the occupation of distant risings. So people are complimenting you saying that. Or people can also be complimenting if you're an entrepreneur, you're doing some kind of gig on the side. People are complimenting, saying that whatever job you're doing, whatever you decided to chase your dreams is working out for you, is is, is um paving the way for you. People are complimenting you also behind your back how you kept whatever you work in, whatever you like to. Some of you guys are really good at doing some DIY stuff or good at doing things with your hands. People are complimenting you behind your back saying how hard working you are, how you working towards your future, how you working towards developing yourself a brighter future. People are also complimenting behind your back saying that you're somebody that dreams big you're very free spirited you somebody that you go after the things that you want you somebody you people can also be talking about how you're over the top people can say when you do things you you go all out for you really put your creativity into things for some of you guys this are what people are compliment, complimenting you behind your back people are complimenting behind your back on how well dressed you are how beautiful you look when you dress up people also like your um if you people also like your work style if you like well, even like for instance 
like if you wear like a uniform or something like that people can say how you make your uniform have its own flair to it its own style own unique zazz or taste to it for some of you guys even if it's like a work uniform um for some of you guys, people are just saying that your formal wear when you wear like former casual clothes you look really well put together you look really well you look well sharp you look very attractive with the, with your wardrobe for some of you guys the way that you dress the way you carry yourself um some of you guys your bare face is really beautiful very emphasizing bare face people some of you guys like to wear updo or keep your hair up or out your out your face people find that to be very attractive as well people are complimenting you behind your back about that people are complimenting you behind your back of how creative you are when it comes to ideas you're somebody that gets ideas out the dome of your head you're somebody that you have a creative spark it's i'm looking at this light in the back and it's beaming while she's working so people are saying that um you have your creativity brings your creativity can make you can make money off of your creativity because we got the occupation as well and i'm also seeing her working and sewing some of you guys can literally know how to sew knit crochet uh, some of you guys know how to make handbags or some of you guys know how to make things uh just by itself you know um, I'm also getting that people like the fact that you're some hard, you're hard work, you're very dedicated towards your future, very dedicated to whatever this occupation is, whatever this is, whether it's a career, whether it's going back to school, whether it's bearing bettering yourself when it comes to your ideas and your cre cre creativity, whether it's putting your your uh, ideas out into the existence in the 3D world instead of just keeping it in your thoughts. People feel like compliment you behind your back on that. People compliment you in the back saying that you're somebody that deserves a lot. You're somebody that's going to get everything that you deserve. People are saying whatever you're doing in life is going to bring you a lot of fortune. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance. People are saying how healing you are. People also feel you're somebody that's very optimistic. You speak life into people. People feel like you're very sweet, very nice, very nurturing, very caring. Whether you're a masculine or a woman, it doesn't matter. People are saying how attractive you are. They, they compliment you behind your back saying that you made people. Uh, I'm hearing that's why I love. I'm, I'm hearing every day now that Shonda, that's why I love tomorrow. So people feel like you really talk sense into people people listen to you people like coming to get advice from you you know people are also watching you as well uh people are feel like you're paving the way like you could be a trendsetter people feel like you're paving the way because with the distant horizon and occupation and the deserving card people can literally be complimenting behind your back saying that you doing whatever you're doing is paving the way for other people to do it like you going after what you're going after is really make is really making people uh reconsider how they think of things you make people approach things different making people have different perspectives with people also feel like you worked hard on yourself worked hard on your self-love with the distant horizon car you could have worked hard to get to where you are when it comes to your self-love when it comes to who you are giving yourself everything that you want you could have people could compliment you behind your back talk about how you work for everything that you have you could have worked hard for everything you have people are also noticing how you working towards your future to get everything you have we got the honor and path people are saying that you could be somebody that you know what you want to do in life people could be talking about how much attention you get some of you guys whatever you're doing online whether it's if you have like an online business or you do something on the social media platform people are saying how that is and they can see in the future you're going to be big off of where you are at currently um if you don't have a social media platform people are saying that they can view you as somebody being big or people compliment you behind your back saying that girl or that guy is real bright or they're going to go real far in life especially with the honoring pad with the occupation the honor okay y'all sorry y'all had to free up some storage hopefully this worked because the last time i started cut me off but um, anyways, y'all, so people are complimenting behind your back saying that you are not somebody that's afraid to get attention or you get a lot of attention and you seem like you take it really bravely or you some people compliment you saying how much attention you get and how, you know, even if you don't, you, people say that you're not a child, how you just naturally get attention. People are also complimenting you behind your back saying how brave you are to go after your dreams, how brave you are to put yourself out there, put yourself out there in the spotlight, put your creativities out there. People are saying how brave you are for that. So these are people complimenting behind your back. We're not going to get some additional messages. What are people complimenting my pile one behind their back? What are people complimenting my pile one behind their back? What are people complimenting my pile one behind their back? So we got obsessed over you. So people are complimenting behind, behind your back saying how people obsess over you or how people talk about you a lot or how you live rip free in people's minds. I hear I got condos in that bitch here. So some of y'all, people can be also saying how people are obsessed over you being a trendsetter. People are, I'm getting like, for instance, some of you guys, there could be somebody around you that, I don't want to say they dislike you, but this could be somebody that around you that kind of like looks at, the, look at you and it's like, oh my God, I want to, it's like, I don't know. It's this weird energy where it's like something they like you. 
but they can't stand you. I don't know. It's this energy where somebody around you, and I'm, and, and, and like, it's almost this energy where somebody doesn't like the fact that you're so attractive or so sought after. Like, this person could feel like you get a lot of attention. This person could feel like there's a lot of people that's gravitating towards you at the workplace or at some kind of, because we got occupation on a path deserving a distant horizon. You could just be getting a lot of attention. A lot of people could be, you know, you could be the gift of the gag. Your name could be in a lot of people's miles or a lot of people could compliment you, you know. You can be making relations with people really quickly or people could be growing fond over you very quickly. Whether this is not in the workplace, this could literally be online. Because, you know, some people, you again, you could be an entrepreneur. Some of you guys are have an actual workplace and a job field or, you know, in a competitive field. So people are complimenting you behind your back. All right, y'all, I have to clear some more space. Oh, my God, we gonna hope this is it. But anyway, so people are obsessed over you and people are complimenting behind your back saying that whoever this person is, whoever these people is, whoever this in energy is, they see it and they saying that, whoa, they basically, people are complimenting behind your back. Man, basically, I'm hearing, I'm here. I got a trigger or so people, you got somebody triggering. People are noticing that and they feel like, oh, okay, you know, uh, it was, it was, you know, you ruffling somebody feathers. Anyways, people are complimenting you behind your back saying that you got standards. So you got standards. You're not about to step out your comfort zone for anybody. I'm not going to say step out your comfort zone, but you're not about to go above and beyond for anything. Or you're not, I'm here. I'm here. Why would I go chase if you just go run a bag? Yeah, so for some of you guys, you don't chase people. You know, you somebody standing your power and your energy, divine feminine or divine masculine. You know, you, you show up and you show up for yourself. You show up and all of that, but you're not about to do all of that. People like the fact that you got standards. You're not about to scoop down to somebody level. You're not about to drop your standards to be in somebody's life. People find that to be very attractive. People are complimenting you behind your back on that. People are saying that you're complimenting you, saying that you're low key. You keep a lot of things to yourself. You're very discreet. You don't, you know, you don't disclose a lot of information about yourself. You know, people be, people could call and be like, oh, where you at? You don't even tell them where you at. You know, I be like, I'm out. I'm getting like that for some of you guys, but you're very discreet, low key. You don't have everybody in your business. You keep everybody as arm's length, or you keep certain energy that arm's length. You know, people feel like you're very mysterious. They have to search or have to hear about you in order to get to know about you, you know? We also got sexually appealing. So people find you to be very sexually appealing, very attractive, very alluring, you know, very, you know, very, very desirable. You know, a lot of people can find you desirable. A lot of people can praise over you. You can get a lot of attention for a lot of people. You're very sought after. People find you to be somebody that gets so much attention. It's kind of, they feel intimidated. You can intimidate people. People compliment you behind your back saying that, you know, you get so many people. It's, it's like intimidating because, you know, they never know who you got in your roster, you know. We got more views, more likes, more followers. And again, this just clarify what I said earlier. And boom, like I said before, y'all are getting some kind of views. Y'all blowing up. This is what people are complimenting you. People are saying that you're getting more views, more likes, more followers on your stuff. Your business is starting to be seen more. You are starting to be seen more. You are starting to get more views on just your picture itself alone. People are literally seeing you leveling up. People are literally seeing you. We got six and seven. People are seeing this elevation happening. And people are complimenting behind your back. And this just clarifies exactly what I said earlier. We also got beauty marks, dimples, and smile lines. So people like your beauty mark. People are complimenting, complimenting your beauty marks, your dimples, your smile lines. You know, certain features that make you unique, that make you stand out. People are complimenting that. People like that. People also like the way that you look. People also compliment how beautiful your cheeks are. As your, your, as your facial cheeks, they find to be very chatty when you smile. We got deep conversations. So people compliment the fact that you're somebody that's very intuitive. You're somebody that's very deep. You like somebody that has deep conversations. You're somebody that's really real and genuine. People compliment you saying how you're down to earth and how they really can fuck with you because they see the real in you. We also got you can see things other can. So people feel like you somebody that calls out bullshit or you somebody very observing. You see, you sit back and you watching people around you. People compliment you on your back of how observing you are. People also see you somebody that you don't you you could people could tell you shit and they don't have to worry about you telling it to somebody else. People see you as somebody compliment you behind your back saying how proactive you are, how you're not about to wait for things to happen, you're about to make it happen. You're somebody that goes up to your dream. You're somebody that gets shit started before it's supposed to start. you somebody you get so clear. People can also be, compliment you back how, when you're very excited. You can be the kind of person that get dressed before hours of an event that you're really excited about. Or if you're going somewhere, you like to get dressed hours ahead just because you're so excited. People compliment you behind your back saying how you put yourself out there. You put your best foot forward. You know, you take risks. You jump out there. You don't care about head-on collisions. You literally go out there and um do what you have to do 
We also got breaking generational curses. So people are literally complimenting you on the bed saying that you are a really big thing. You somebody that's really big. I'm getting like a young Dolph energy. Some of you guys, y'all may listen to young Dolph. Um, I'm just getting a young golf energy or you make, you make a change and you make a difference in people's lives. People are saying that you break a generation of curses. You are setting better examples. This is how people are complimenting behind your back. I love this energy pile one. I know that's right. Come through. Oh, people are complimenting you behind your back saying how your natural body is sexy. You look very beautiful. Your natural features are sexy. People love it. People um, crave it. People find you very, very attractive. Y'all, they are really sexy. Okay. People love your skin tone. Again, I kept picking up your head glowy skin earlier. People love your skin tone. People love your, your ethnicity or whatever ratio. People love it. They find you very attractive. People also love the way that your skin glows in the uh, light as well. People also like the fact people are complimenting you behind your back saying that you could have revamped something or you could have just been revamping your life, adding new things in, out with the old, in with the new, as the seasons change. People are also saying that you are having this newfound glow. You could have changed, dyed your hair or you're doing something different, you unique. You know, the new year is approaching. People, you are setting new goals for yourself. People are saying and complimenting you behind your back saying how attractive you are, how you very versatile, you switch things up. Look, well, look what came out, new creative ideas and thinking. See what I'm saying? People are literally complimenting, complimenting you on your brain, your, your ideas. Yeah, people feel like they need your ID. The people feel like when they do projects, they need you. They need your support. They, they feel like they need your brain. Uh, for some of you guys, if you watch Criminal Minds, you know how Reed is on Criminal Minds. They need Reed. I'm not saying they need him, but Reed is so good at his job. You know, it would kind of be harder without him. It would kind of be, it would, it would definitely miss that energy without him on Criminal Minds. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like people really care for you to be there. It would hit if something was to happen to you, or it would hit if something was to change and you wasn't there. People literally depend on your wits. Um, people compliment you by undress saying that you're a natural born talent and you was gifted for this. You was born to do this. It was in your DNA. You was born to do, be great. You was born to be big. People are comment, compliment, be, complimenting you behind your back on that. People are saying that you're getting back to yourself, loving yourself more. Complimenting you, saying that you could have went through something, but you bounced back 10 times harder. You stand tall and you still ball. People are literally complimenting you behind your back, saying that you are you dedicated to yourself, dedicated to your word. People could literally look up to you. You're very well endowed. People are complimenting you behind your back, saying that even though you're somebody that's serious when it comes to your work and your ideas, you're somebody that's very goofy. You're very fun. You know how to make other people laugh. You have a sense of humor. People like laughing with you. People like chuckling with you, talking with you. People are literally saying, you are so fucking beautiful, Power One. Like, I just want to take a second and I want y'all to go look in the mirror and admire how good y'all look. We have too many emphasis on y'all beauty, too em many emphasis on y'all attractiveness. Y'all are so beautiful without makeup. I cannot stress this enough. But if you don't wear it, you're so beautiful without it. If you're a man, you look so beautiful in your natural state. Whether you got a beard that ain't cut, your hair, you wolfing. You know, you just look so attractive. You literally, people literally feel like you wake up beautiful. This is how attractive you are. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this video resonant, hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for next time. Peace, love, and light. Beautiful, bigger, and bolder. Thank you for watching my video, Selfly Gifted. If you find this video resonant, with you hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my uploads. Also, if this reading resonates with you, check out my other readings. They may resonate with you as well. Also, if you find that this reading resonate with you, check out my other readings. If you're inquiring about personal readings, everything will be listed down below in the description box. I already say you showing the cards to so shuffle over the decks. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining us, commenting, and subscribing. Return to subscribe again, gang. Welcome back. We're going to hop right into it. What compliments are people giving you behind your back currently right now, Pile 2? And I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate all and every each and every one of you. Thank you so much for rocking with me. The times my channel is going through a loop, the times of the upheaval, the ups and downs. I really appreciate you guys for really rocking out with me and sticking with me. I fuck with y'all. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful, thankful, thankful Thanksgiving. I appreciate every one of you, and I love you guys so much. Peace, love, and light. We're going to hop right into it. We got true love. So people are complimenting you behind your back saying that they feel like you're their true love. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like uh, we got revamped and we got a uh, quick. Uh, I always take the two cards off of my decks when I shuffle. We got revamped. So people are saying that you are an upgrade or people complimenting you behind your back saying that you would be an upgrade. Like if somebody was dating somebody and they broke their heart, they're looking at you saying, oh, power two would definitely be an upgrade. Like I'm not even looking at it as a rebound situation. I'm looking at it like, oh, because we got the four here. So people are like, oh, power, if I date power two, they they upgrade. They would love me. They will protect me. They will nurture me. They hold upgrade for what I was going through. So people feel like you're some kind of level up in some kind of way. We also got secret admirer when I was flipping the decks before I was shuffling. So this could be a secret admirer that's complimenting you behind your back or it's somebody that sought 
that's you know that that really defines you to be very attractive or you know has some kind of it could be somebody that you're in a relationship with for some of you guys this could be a crush that has somebody that has a crush on you and again it's gonna be a literal literally a secret admirer people are complimenting you behind your back or this person's complimenting you behind your back saying how thankful they are and appreciate you this person are also saying that you are somebody that's very beautiful very sweet very innocent very nurturing and kind the first of all you look really beautiful and red or if you ever wore red or something or there was something not it was something with just red in it they feel like it brings out your complexion um people are complimenting you behind your back saying that you were somebody that found your true love or you somebody that found the found somebody that's protects you found i'm getting i don't know why I'm, i don't know why i'm getting um where's her name fuck i don't even know her name um yeah i think it's courtney kardashian yeah courtney kardashian so i don't know why i just got her randomly in my head but i i, I don't watch the kardashian but i've seen like a couple clips before and i don't know why i just got that clip where they show where she was dating somebody or the guy before him and he didn't want he didn't want nobody else to stare at her but he didn't want to do what he was supposed to do to keep her so now she's with somebody else and he's completely different from you know everybody else stereotypes but they love each other or something like that and their love is beautiful and she actually has her happily ever after type shit so i don't know why i'm thinking of that so people could be complimenting you behind your back saying that you could have went through something now you have somebody that's really beautiful and now you have somebody that cares for you that's really fucking with you that's that you know is is hard to, it would be it, it would be it's kind of hard to make you and this person inseparable um, people are coming to you behind your back saying that you're their soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. For the ones that's not with somebody, again, you have a secret admirer, or you can have secret admirers and people crushing on you and they feel like you're their soulmate. Um, also, somebody is talking or complimenting behind your back saying that if they were to date you or they was, or if they was to fuck with you, you would be way better than the ex. You be, you, you be just, this person look, put you on a pedestal. People are putting you on a pedestal. They're looking at you as being an upgrade. Like, oh, power two is the one. Like, it's this energy. I'm not even getting like a rebound energy. It's almost like somebody go through something. We got family in reverse. It's almost like somebody go through something or whatever and boom, like. Oh, for some of you guys, y'all made people feel at home with the family car in reverse with the true love. Y'all made people feel at feel at home when they're away from their family. Y'all can make people feel at home. Y'all can get a people's sense of comfort. That's what people are complimenting behind your back. People can be saying how you don't have kids and they're saying that you don't have any kids and they're complimenting you behind their back. People are saying like, oh, pile two. If for some of you guys that don't have kids, people are saying, oh, pile two don't have no kids. and Or people are thinking about how the fact that you don't have kids and they want to have kids with you. For some of you guys, they can want to settle down, want a relationship with you. People are complimenting you behind your back, saying that oh, for some of you guys, if uh, if you do have children and then you are not with the father of your child, the mother of your child, people could be complimenting you behind your back, saying that uh, they can want to date you. For some of you guys, yeah, if you, I'm getting two separate messages. If you don't have kids, people are complimenting you behind your back, saying how they can want to have kids with you. People are complimenting you behind your back if you do have kids, but you're not with the person that you had kids with. They're saying that they could, they would love to, you know, step in. They would love to help you. They find you very attractive. They want to get to know you regardless if you have children or not you know you just had that effect you had an energy you know so that's what i'm saying um people are also complimenting you behind your back saying that you are somebody that has your own family tradition or you do your own tradition or your own things that people find that be attractive people compliment you behind the back saying how quick you are to think on your feet how quickly witty you are you somebody that come up with great ideas you somebody that come up with solutions very quick people feel like you are somebody that's really good when it comes to new ideas what are people complimenting my pile to behind their back what are people complimenting my pile to behind her back? We got the letting go card. So people can be complimenting behind your back saying how it's hard to uh, resist you, how your temptation with the letting go in reverse. People are complimenting you behind your back saying that your temptation is hard to resist you. It's hard to not want you. It's hard to not talk to you. These are people that you're not with. For some of you guys, it could be a partner that you're dating. This person can feel like it's hard to resist you. Even this person is complimenting you. For some of you guys, this person could, people could be um, complimenting, your back, complimenting behind your back saying that, you know, your temptation is hard to uh, walk away from you. Or people get tied up with you. Or people get obsessed with you. You know, people fall over head over heels with you. We also got kindred partnership. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So many people are literally saying that you're, we got true love and kindred partnership. That's two cards that indication soulmate. And we also got one and this one is four. 
So we got four is actually the energy, which is protection, which is, you know, rooted, which is something sacred. But then we also had a kindred partnership with the one, which to me is also talk about manifestations, you know, and I'm also being like desire, desirable, you know, being first choice. So people are saying, people are, some of you guys, you could literally have an ex complimenting you behind your back. This is somebody that's complimenting behind your back saying that you were the best person that they dated and they let you go. For some of you guys, so literally, you got people that dated you in the past that's complimenting because we got the letting go in true love. You could have somebody that, even if it wasn't an ex or a situation or or a fling, somebody could be complimenting you behind their back saying that you were somebody that they should have held on to, you they or they or you you somebody that they wish they would have never let go of because we got the letting go in reverse. So this person's regretting letting you go or letting you leave. This person feels like you're their true love. Um, this person regrets with the family in reverse. This person could have made you not feel um you could have family tradition or this person could have family tradition or this person just didn't make you feel like you could have something sacred with them you or that space of making you feel at home with them in our relationship you know it could have been a lot of push or pull in this or whatever this was or a lot of re resistance this person was complimenting you behind your back saying that you were the best choice and they should have chose you you were the best one you know this person uh, could be regretful saying that they you know you never realize what you have until it's gone. Like, literally, this person's in this kind of energy, you know? Uh, this person could be um, thankful for you for Thanksgiving. Because I did say somebody's thankful for you in the very beginning of the reading. So, this person could be thankful for you. You know, this person, if they could have another chance with you, they would. Like, if you was to offer another chance with them or if it ever opened up to the table, they would take it and they would do right by you. And I don't know which ex this is. It don't have to be an ex you think it is. It could just be or a situation with somebody that you could have had a very strong connection with or whether it was a telepathic connection or whatever. Um, for some of you guys, this person could be watching you online. Um, for some of you guys, people are complimenting you, saying that uh, you, if you have your relationship relationship online, people are complimenting, saying how good you and your partner look online. For some of you guys, people are watching you online that's thinking about you, that's complimenting you, saying how attractive you are, wondering if you're single. People can be complimenting you behind your back, saying they don't know if you're single or not, and they want to talk to you. You're very beautiful. You're very attractive. You're handsome. It's a lot of energy of people want to talk to you. We got the true love card. We got the family card reverse. So people are complimenting you behind your back saying that you could, when you regardless of your family traditions, you go after what you want or whatever, you know, whether it's not, whether it's going against your religion or whatever it is, people find that to be complimenting you behind your back how free spirited you are. I like the fact that you somebody that hold on to your beliefs. People also feel like you're somebody that's loyal. I hear, I, I want to be with you. Just love. I don't want to be with you. My, I just woke up, y'all, so fuck it. But, you know, um, this is basically what I'm getting, this energy. So, we're going to get some more messages. What compliments are people giving you behind your back? But before I flip these cards over and read these, I'm going to get a couple additional oracles. Okay, hold on, y'all. We got some cards. I feel we got a lot of cards. So, I want to get a couple more cards out this deck. What are people complimenting you? What compliments are people giving you behind your back? At least give me two cards. But y'all are very attractive, pal. To a lot of people, you have a lot of secret admirers. A lot of people are seeing you as single. Or if you are if not a relationship with somebody and you have kids, they're viewing you as like they want to step in and want to step into the play. You're very fine. You're, you know, very fiery. Um, if you have a re relationship with somebody, your person is literally bragging about you behind your back, you know. Um, we also got unleash your creativity and we got self-love. So again, heavy emphasis on your self-love. People are saying that you're somebody that has a lot of, you are somebody that has a lot, you're very temptation, siren energy about you, very attractive. You have a lot of seduction to you. People are complimenting you behind your back saying how much seduction you are. You are a lot of a temptation. People feel like they have to resist themselves. People that, oh, for some of you guys, we got the letting go in reverse and the true love. And we got the family in reverse. For some of you guys, there could even be people that's, have a marriage or because with the true love card and a family reverse and a letting go and a kindred partnership people could uh be tied into toxic marriages or tied into certain situations or, or whatever or, or still holding on to things from their past and then your temptation for them 
uh, people that's already established in certain things or already established in certain areas, they feel like it's a temptation and they have to better resisting themselves from you or coming towards you. You somebody that's really highly sought after. We also got being chosen for something. So people are compliment complimenting behind your back saying that you are somebody that's being chosen for something. You could have been chosen for something. Or people choose you. Like if somebody was to say who is better than who, they would choose you. Your looks never car your face car never declines. You somebody that has a lot of creativity as well. People feel like they don't know what you can do, what you can make. It's you the kind of person where it's like you a jack of all trades. You can come up with the most craziest shit and it will hit. Oh, for some of you guys, I don't know if y'all been seeing the videos where it's like some the designer and then versus the designs. I don't know if you've ever seen it with that with that music in the background. That's the energy I'm getting for some of you guys. You could just be like, I'm getting it. Y'all have to literally have seen the video to understand what I'm saying. But it basically shows the video of the designer, and the designer is bowing down. Then they're showing their designs on the runway as people model it. Y'all are fucking dope, pal. So, like, you're all sick. The things y'all can come up with is fucking crazy. Like, people, I don't know if you are a designer or if you did whether you designed your own tarot cards, your own wallets, your own glasses, your own, you know, teacher shit. I don't care. Whatever it is, you are wicked with your shit. People feel like you, your cre creativity is endless. It's like, order for. It's like if somebody wanted to possess your power, they it's no way if somebody wanted to possess your power, they can't they literally have to kill you off. I don't know why I'm picking up this harsh energy, but people not saying that people people are complimenting you behind the back saying basically like order to get rid of your your creativity, they would have to literally end you. It's nothing it's like you are literally a god at what you do. Something heavy emphasis on people really complimenting about your creativity. Uh, we got flexible. I'm not saying don't take a literal much to think somebody's doing that or saying that. I'm just getting like that's how much of a pedestal people put y'all up on when it comes to your mind or ideas. It's like people feel like they need your sauce. They need they need what you have. I don't know about y'all, but Chick-fil-A ain't the same without that Chick-fil-A sauce, okay? Just being real. We got flexible. So people are saying how flexible you are. Some of you guys can be really flexible. Some of you have a flexible schedule. People also like the flexible and mobility that you have as well. People find that to be very attractive. And they compliment you behind that behind behind your back. People compliment you saying that you don't take shit from no one. You stand your ground. You stand up for the people that you love. You stand up for the things that you're passionate about. You don't hold back. People are compliment you saying that you're somebody that has deep conversations. You're real. You're genuine. You're honest. You're upfront. You're forward with shit. People are compliment you behind your back saying that you're very funny, hilarious. You have a sense of humor. You're somebody that's very smart. A lot of people feel like you make them laugh. A lot of people like being around you. I'm hearing you're contagious. Give me what you got. Okay, I know that's right, Pops. Come through. We got overtime. Some of y'all work really hard for the things that y'all want. Y'all work overtime. People compliment you behind the complimenting you behind your back how dedicated you are, how hard working or how you somebody i go hard in the motherfucking paint leave stinking what the fuck is thinking my walker fuck y'all literally go hard in the paint for the things that y'all want y'all literally put y'all foot in or like y'all literally be putting y'all foot in shit like i hear i put my foot on bitches next sometimes my foot is stuck y'all literally be catching motherfuckers off guard i'll be having motherfuckers choked up they don't be prepared for you some of y'all i'm also hearing that they were complimenting behind your back saying that you look good in your pictures but in person baby in person it's a whole nother story it's a whole nother story you look really good like in person it's like okay hold up wait a minute there's my finger in y'all look really good in person Person. we got breaking generation and curses some of y'all may need to go watch power one because this came out of power one y'all people are compliment complimenting behind your back saying that you are breaking generational curses you are doing things different in your family lineages you anything that happened in your family lineage that was not good or something that needs to be let go of you're letting it go of you're breaking them generational curses you are starting to do more things to, to harness and unleash new traditions but healthy traditions we also got I, um, people love your hair. They love how you style it. I, I'm here. I got 32 flavors of that booty delicious bubble gum, raspberry, cherry plate. Come and get some yummy. Yum. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Some of y'all, y'all look very attractive. Some of y'all have a lot of style. Y'all have a lot of taste when it comes to things. People love your style and your hair, the way you style it, whether you're masculine or not. Look, I want to drink your bath water. Come on now, Pau 2. Come on now, Pau 2. Now, you know you should be... Pau 2, for some of y'all, y'all know y'all look good. Y'all know y'all look good. Y'all know y'all attracted. You will be kind of person that you don't even care for the attention, but you still be getting it. I'm hearing... I don't know why I'm hearing... Um, I don't, I don't, I'm going to know why I'm hearing old man trying to diss fuck up off my D about uh 21 Savage. 
um with uh drake knife talk some of y'all y'all gotta y'all got y'all persuasive with your words y'all good with your wordplay people are complimenting you behind your back people are complimenting you saying that you somebody you would you know how to get somebody right where it hurts you know exactly where to hit them where it hurts like if you was to go battle somebody when it comes toe to toe with words you definitely can hit somebody where it hurts i'm getting like cannons off a real house like the potomac like i really sting a motherfucker y'all hit it right where it hurts right in the motherfucking right on the nose with it okay people are complimenting you behind your back saying how uplifting you are how you somebody you uplift people people find love your energy people like being around you you make them feel good you make them feel hyped y'all literally could be hyping people love y'all really good hype man um people love how hype you are people also compliment you probably best saying that love at first sight i'm trying to tell you y'all gotta y'all got a secret admirer out there or somebody have crushing on you they feel like it's love at first sight for some of you guys this can literally be an earth sign or yep earth yep some of you guys have this is even an earth sign water sign or air sign specifically one of them i'm not getting fire even though it's a lot of fiery energy in this reading i'm just getting specifically heavily earth heavily water and it can be an air sign you inspire people to do better. So people are complimenting behind your back saying you inspire them to do better. You inspire them to do more. You inspire them to go after their dreams. People love your glasses. If you wear glasses, people are complimenting about your shades or your glasses. People are complimenting about them. You can see good. You look really nerdy, but really attractive in your glasses that fit you. And people are complimenting you saying that you're somebody that you don't hold on to shit. You let shit go. You let go of anything that's not giving you anything. It's not going anywhere. So this is what people say behind your back and they're complimenting you on, pal, too. Currently, if you find this reading resonate with you, hit the like button. Comment down below, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Till next time, peace, love, and life. If you're inquiring about personal readings, everything is listed down below in the description box. Happy Thanksgiving. Until next time.